Welcome to Lead Generation Mastery. This video will tell you about arguably the most important aspect of lead generation, which is how to create a high converting landing page. What is a landing page? A landing page is a welcome page for your online visitors. It displays an overview of what your website is about. It is where a form is provided where they can fill in their details such as name and email address if they choose to subscribe to you or become a member of your website. If they are a member of your website, it is where they sign in. The landing page is not just a decorative welcome doormat for your guests. It is an invitation for them to knock and enter. Let's jump into the key points on how to make a landing page that ensures high conversion. A landing page should be simple and precise in every aspect. The instructions on how to fill in forms for the users should be clear. The copy for the landing page must be succinct and understandable. Every aspect of the copy must be taken into account, including the copywriting, fonts, placements, and text sizes. The design for the landing page must also be eye-catching. A cluttered design would be a big deficiency as it would only annoy the users and they'd choose to divert away from the landing page. An eye-catching design must include the placements for the body copy, images, and the fields. Exits from your landing page should be limited. It's best to just put one skip button at the bottom of the page. It has to be vague and small, but not totally obscured. If the user was given a lot of options to exit the page, it would be like encouraging them to ignore adding themselves into your mailing list. Did you notice that when you close a tab for landing page, there is a pop-up box to stop you from leaving the page? That is also one of the ways to limit exits. A call to action is imperative in every page that requires the user's response. A call to action can vary in whatever ways you want. It can be tweaked and customized to befit the approach you have for your target audience. For example, if you are running a sports page, you can say something athletic like, Sign up and get ahead of the game. Your call to action should not be too generic and plain. In your body copy, make sure that when you are writing, your focus is on your audience. Talk about what they can gain instead of just telling them about your company and services. It's okay to display your success and referrals, but find ways to relate that to the audience. When designing your landing page, remember to look at it through the eyes of a new user. Another way to entice your visitor is to give them a great offer if they sign up to your mailing list. It promises a higher conversion rate, especially when you provide irresistible limited time offers. With the internet made accessible through mobile devices, it has become a preference and most people would choose to browse through their mobile instead of desktop and laptop. In fact, people spend most of their time on mobile devices than any other medium. Almost all websites are mobile compatible now, and there's no reason that yours should be excluded. Make your landing page compatible for mobile. Your website should be as convenient as possible. Your landing page must load quickly. With the speed of the internet improving exponentially, it's to no surprise that users tend to be more impatient in waiting for a page to load. If the page loads too slowly, that user would be distracted and leave your page. Even though graphics and design play a vital role, they must be limited if they cause the slow loading of the landing page. The fields in the form in the landing page must also be limited. Don't tire the user by asking them to fill in a lot of details in the form, all that you need is just their email address and name only. If the landing page is full of empty fields, it would look cluttered. The last thing the user wants is to fill in tedious forms. Finally, after you've prepared a landing page, you would of course then want to track the conversion rate so that you would know how to improve and remove elements that are not beneficial. The springmetrics.com website is a good way to monitor your conversion rate. Google Analytics is also a popular choice as it is dependable and free.